More talking, more fighting as families of hostages still held by Hamas in Gaza say they have had enough. Trey Yingst has more from Tel Aviv. As ceasefire talks continue, families of the hostages still being held by Hamas rushed the Gaza border fence on Thursday, confronting the Israeli military and demanding the immediate release of their loved ones. They're hoping to put pressure on diplomats holding working level negotiations in Qatar, where the final details of a plan to stop the fighting are reportedly being hammered out. Some family members say they're not working fast enough. We need this to end. After 327 days, everyone needs to come out. We all understand to make this happen, we need a ceasefire. But securing a ceasefire won't be easy. Israeli troops are mounting offensives on multiple fronts, including Gaza, with IDF troops trying to stop Hamas from regrouping, and southern Lebanon, where Hezbollah is still firing on towns and cities in northern Israel. This is not the end of the story. When will it be the end of the story? Only when we can bring back security and the residents to their homes safely. And this week, a new offensive got underway in the West Bank, centered on the city of Jenin. Israeli forces pounding what they claim are terrorist strongholds. But Palestinians say civilians are increasingly getting caught in the crossfire. The ambulances cannot access the camps to even reach the people with diseases, not the injured people, but humanitarian cases and sick people. The Israeli military says it killed at least five militants on Thursday, including an Islamic Jihad commander. In Tel Aviv, Trey Yinkst, Fox 32, Chicago.